Hey guys, for the last few weeks I've been working on this CNC hot wire cutter. I started working on this after I crashed the Nebula V2 and decided that I wanted to remake it using hot wire cut wings. Uh, I thought it'd be a lot easier if I ended up just designing a CNC hot wire cutter that way I can get more repeatable cuts and get higher quality cuts for doing the composites afterwards and just having a better wing in general. And then also if I can get some software to start doing fuselage pieces, then I can get some nice shaped fuselages instead of just using Adam's ready board. So for this project, I ended up getting a lot of information from RC Keith. He has a YouTube channel and a website where he has a lot of information about CNC hot wire cutters. And for this, I ended up using a uh, Arduino Mega Ramps board, and I got the software from his website as well. So here I have the electronics bay that houses the scene, the uh, Arduino Mega, and then this is the bay for holding the power supply with the AC plug and the wire output to go into the Arduino. Uh, each gantry is a complete copy of one another, so it makes it easier for construction because you don't have to worry about symmetry or mirroring the parts. Each gantry is exactly the same except for how the wire mounts onto the vertical gantry. So on each piece, you have either a piece that you can mount the wire on the uh, left side or an extension that you can put to mount the wire onto the right side. So for the left gantry, I have an extra piece here to mount the wire for the left side. And then on the right side, the part that touches the end stop is where you mount the hot wire and you swap out the circular piece for another piece that holds the pulley in place. Uh, so each scantry just uses uh, bearings on uh, wheels on bearings for moving across extruded aluminum pieces and are pulled with uh, I think two millimeter pulleys. I got all the pieces from I think it was open parts or open builds. I'm not sure. I'll put a link in the description for the website that I ordered most of the pieces from. Uh, and I also have a bill of materials that I'll put below, but that might still be in progress in case I need to change anything later. So the main the main idea behind this is that uh, a necromium wire is held between each of the gantries tensioned by some springs, and then it's controlled so that each gantry can move separately from one another and move the wire and then the wire is heated by passing electricity through it so it melts the foam. So I wanted to make this out of primarily 3D printed parts since I have a 3D printer and it's easy for construction and then if any designs are wrong I just pop off a print overnight and then I can wake up in the morning to the fixed part. So yeah that's about where I'm at so uh, for the next part I'll jump to some videos of constructing it.
So when I finally finished all the mechanical parts for the first gantry, I moved on to assembling the electronics so that I could test all the motor direction controls and homing with the end stops connected. And I ran into one of the first issues with the electronics, and that being that the out of the five stepper drivers I got with the CNC Arduino kit, the green ones here, uh, three of them actually didn't work. So I had to order a new set of four uh, stepper drivers, which are the red ones. And out of the four, two of them were actually shorted and caused the 5-volt regulator on the Arduino Mega to actually burst and start smoking. Now this hasn't actually caused any issues because the Arduino is being powered via USB and the 12-volt power supply is powering everything else. But it is a little scary. So here I have the first test of the homing. So everything seemed to work fine. Uh, the only issue is a lot of stuff hadn't, a lot of the parameters hadn't been calibrated yet. So you see that the gantry is moving pretty far away from the end stop during homing. And that's because millimeters per step wasn't set up yet. So uh, each of the motors was moving the gantry a lot more than it should. But uh, in the next video, I'll have some more footage of actual cuts along with some stuff that actually needs to be improved with the design. Thanks for watching, everyone.